Hey, welcome back to Fun for Louis. Today I'm doing another tech talk. Now, there was mixed responses from the first one I put out. And although technology isn't the main focus of this channel, it is something I'm very passionate about. So I'm trying to find a format so I can do tech videos and review gadgets and look at different things I'm using in my life and share that with you. So here you go. Some of you may know this year I've partnered with Intel and I've been trying out devices with their eighth generation Intel Core i7 processors. So the first device I tried out was a two-in-one laptop and then a desktop and now I have a beast of a laptop. This is the MSI P65 notebook. It's unbelievable. The power in this laptop, it's like... It's gonna replace my laptop for sure. Some of the other laptops I've tried in the past when I've tried to go from Mac to PC have only been slightly better than using the Mac in terms of performance, but I haven't been able to get over kind of switching operating systems. But this beast is gonna destroy anything else I've been using. So what I'm gonna do in this episode is tell you about this machine, tell you why I think this is gonna change my life. And then also I went on a helicopter ride over the Hollywood sign and captured some pretty epic footage, which I'm gonna be editing on this machine and then showing you the final product of that. Now, up until today, my travel computer that I use on the go has been my MacBook Pro. Um, like I said before, although I have used PCs and tried other laptops, um, I've always gone back to my MacBook Pro. But today is the change. So at the heart of this machine, Intel has designed their eighth gen core i7 processor for creators. It has 64 gig of RAM in this machine. That is, that's four times more than my Mac. So this is significantly more powerful. It's got a 15.6 inch display, ultra thin. The graphics card in here is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. I think finally I've probably, I think put like a two terabyte solid state drive in here. So the price point on this particular machine is just over $3,000, but I've customized it to basically be the perfect machine for me. Um, so it really depends what your needs are, but this, this is my guy, this is my machine. <laughs> also guys, if you're wondering why this mic has been poking in my face this entire time, I'm trying something new out because it's very echoey in this room and until I get a rug in and maybe some acoustic panels, there's gonna be, yeah, a lot of echoiness with my shotgun mic and other mics. I even tried my lav mic. But I'm feeling this, this like, I don't even know what mic this is, but it's a podcast mic I got anyway and I feel like this is, this is gonna sound a bit better and it's all about good audio, I think. Now, when I was doing some research into machines, I was tempted to go for a really bulky gaming laptop. Um, some of those have like 17 inch screens and they are like thick, they're like bricks. Um, they do have incredible power and performance, but they're not practical when you're traveling and stuff. So I preferred the design on this. It's a lot sleeker. It's not as harsh as the big gaming laptops. Um, it's quieter, it's it's thinner, it's just a lot more practical to travel with, um, and it's not too heavy either. I'm honestly, I'm I'm kind of amazed that they can pack this much power into a thin laptop like this. So Intel have a range of core options depending on your needs, but in here is their first six core laptop chip. That is an insane amount of processing power. And as you know, I edit in 4K, I've started getting back into some animation and stuff, and uh, that's all pretty intensive on the processor. So this is gonna be able to cope with a lot of heavy tasks, especially when I'm using the Adobe Creative Suite, like Adobe After Effects and Premiere. And Intel have actually collaborated with Adobe to ensure that all the cores are taken advantage of. Boom, 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 boom. Like I said before, guys, I know this is a little bit different to my normal content, but I'm trying to flow with this. I'm trying to make it work. So let me know in the comments how I could adapt these episodes to be more engaging, more interesting, and suggest things that you'd like me to look at, review, try out. And uh, I'll do my best, I'll do my best. Right, I'm now gonna cut together the footage from the heli ride and see how nice this is to edit on.
was amazing. I didn't know we could get that close to the Hollywood sign. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> you don't want everyone to know. Oh my gosh. What the? Um, uh, that is a unique view of LA, a very, very cool view of LA. Do you guys enjoy it? It was just like, I was like so scared, and I was like, so like, it was just so much adrenaline, I didn't know what to A lot of emotion. Like, this is the only thing keeping me alive, like this one strap, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that is crazy. That was awesome. Shout out to uh, Fly Nyon for sorting that out. I think we, I'm, I'm really annoyed my 360 camera broke as we were getting ready. It's just like the adapter snapped off it, so it's going to be too dangerous to try and like tape it back. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little edit. Like I said, this is definitely going to be my new computer whilst I'm traveling. And talking of traveling, I am actually going to the UK and to Paris. Um, so for those of you who missed my travel vlogs, get ready. It's going to be some fun adventures. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.